Hello everyone and welcome back to Raise Aerospace Lay Station Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2, Early Access. We are going to add some extra arms to our station. Right now it is just that module with all those big fuel tanks, the hydrogen tanks, the big spherical ones, and then our space plane. And we have limited docking space on it and not very many crew quarters. And so we're going to add these arms which have a whole lot of hitchhiker storage containers and also the 2.5 meter docking ports all around. And that's because right now the only available docking ports on the station are 2.5 meter, the Clampatron Seniors. And we're just gonna have a lot of Clampatron Seniors, it looks like. So that's what we're going to go with. We have cupolas at the ends, we have solar panels, we've got the hitchhiker storage containers, the docking hubs, RCS thrusters, uh, RCS tank here, batteries, and we are launching four of them. As you notice, we are launching four of them at the same time, and that is a risk as far as docking is concerned, but it's the most efficient way to get it done. We have four locations to fill, I don't want to launch four separate missions, and this will look better. Now, of course, we could have extra wobblies, there's extra drag because uh, the cupolas are unprotected, and they're unprotected because I don't want to put some sort of nose cone on it and have to decouple the nose cones because anytime you decouple something there's a risk <laughs> so we're uh, we're not putting a nose cone on top of them for safety's sake and i might regret that and i might change my mind so we'll see but we're getting extra drive because of that and then down here we have uh just a mammoth two engine boosters and so that'll boost us up and then we have the usual swerve here in order to get us over to Jewel and get us into orbit around Lathe and Rendezvous. And then these will just use their RCS to dock. Incidentally, part count right now, 238 parts it says. And I, uh, one, one reason is that the struts count as two parts. So, um, worth noting, nearly a thousand tons. It says thrust weight, uh, that's a little bit lower than I was expecting. Hold on. I had thrust limited the boosters here, and I thought I was getting 1.2, but now it says 0.938, and I don't know why. So, maybe we just won't thrust limit those? Oh, well, now that's 1.6. That's too much. We want a gentle ride up, not too much wiggling. I haven't put fins on, you'll note. We might have to change that. Okay, well, it was just lying. <laughs> it was just lying, wasn't it? Okay, that's what I wanted. Alright, I think we're ready to go. We, we better not have any Kerbals in. Let me just make sure. We have a remote controllers on everything. Uh, I think it's hit the ground and explode. Uh, uh, okay, it's wobbling. Okay, map. Oh, it's very, very blue. Where? What? Oh, gosh. I don't know what happened there. But, yeah, <laughs> um, let's go to the runway instead. I like the runway better. I might need more launch clamps. It's a lot of bouncy. We could put launch clamps on the boosters. That might help. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna go to the map now. Alright, alright. See? Runway. Um, I don't know why it's centered down here. We seem to have all our engines, but the camera is a little bit weird. Like it a little bit higher. Well, I, I guess my main controller is actually... I put it lower so that it'd be more stable. I put it there. Or, no, sorry, here. And that's because if it's at the top, it'll wiggle more. So, yeah, I guess it's focused on that. Okay, 4.5 meters per second, even though we're going nowhere. Uh, we release the clamps when it gets to zero, is the idea. Uh, so we should probably have the clamps as a separate stage then. Otherwise it'll hit the ground for sure. Okay. And accordion. I'm not, I'm not turning this much, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna let it go up. It's a little bit wobbly already. 
Uh, 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 what was I just saying? I feel like we should just put struts across the decoupler somehow. We could strut the boosters to the modules. Oh, oh, oh! It separated all on its own. Wait. Um. <laughs> Don't tell physics. Uh. Can we pitch up at all? Uh, I think it's trying its best to pitch up as it is. I think we lost something. Oh, it still all get got wrecked, but except for the hubs, apparently. Okay. Yeah, revert to VAB. Okay. Well, first attempt at mitigation. We'll uh, we'll strut, and maybe we can. Uh, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. But we'll put clamps on these. I feel like. Putting extra launch clamps was worse. It was 4.5 last time, it's 5.2 this time. Hmm. Alright. And, uh, well, let's try it. Up we go. I'm not trying to control it or anything, I just want it to go up. I'm tempted to turn it, but... Uh, okay, maybe... Past the speed of sound. No. Okay, we shouldn't have done that. Not without fins, we can't do that. Okay, uh, uh, straight up, it'll have to be. All right, all right, all right. I won't waste time here. Uh oh, it's frozen. What's it trying to do? We are past the speed of sound. I am trying very much not to turn. I should have put more uh, reaction wheels, actually. Okay, um, cut, 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 uh, cut, 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 cut. Yeah, I think I should have put more reaction wheels on this thing. Okay, we have somehow made it into orbit uh, with just the right amount of delta V too. I wish I had deorbited this thing. I don't really want it a space trash here, but let's just go with it. Off it goes. Okay. All right. So let's go to Jewel. We'll have to do a mid-course adjustment, so we'll just fine-tune it then. We are on our way to Lathe with four new modules for the station. Okay, well that's pretty close. Alright, so we have a close periapsis to Joule after a 100 meter per second mid-course adjustment. And so we will time warp. Okay, mid-course adjustment time. Oh, we're crashing into Jewel. Uh, we'll fix that when we get there. 
It looks like we're encountering Tylo briefly. Just on the edge. It doesn't seem to help at all. Which is sort of weird, but... Alright, we are passing by Tylo really, really high. Okay, there we go. Tylo and Jewel. Closer to Tylo than I was expecting, actually. And Choppy. I wonder, I'm worried about what makes it choppy. And why it's saving the way it's saving. Let me check the save files to see if they're getting really big or something. It feels like they're getting really big. Because it's taking a long time to save. Oh yeah, the recent autosaves have been 288 megabytes. This is probably a problem. Yeah, the for comparison, the last save that I manually made was 39 megabytes. That is further away from Jewel than I was wanting it to be. Let me make some adjustments while we're here. Uh, it's probably bad to do a radial burn right now anyway though. Which is worse, doing a radial burn right now to get closer to Jewel and flatten it up or... Lacking the Oberth effect of getting close to Jewel. It's a tough call. Well, we can't do two maneuvers like that anyway, so... It'll just get messed up. Let's just get rid of that. Alright, let's do this one first. Okay. Okay, well, now we've got Jewel here. A little bit further away than we usually are. So, we will boost up. Okay, that's one tangency. And then we will change the inclination, but I don't want to plot that yet. Okay, just 64 meters per second up there. Okay, we are flat with respect to Lathe. We have one... Well, okay, it's turned into two tangency points, but barely. And we just need to bring it down. But why is it moving the... See the 2A? When I apply thrust, it moves a little bit, but then it moves back. <laughs> and it depends how much thrust I apply. And then, if I apply full thrust, it goes over here. Okay, well, the ascending or descending node has disappeared, so... Well, I'll take that periapsis, though. Alright, capture burn around Leith. Uh, probably I should just go lower, but then I should probably boost up before trying to get an uh, encounter here. Sort of got a little encounter going on there, but I don't think it's a good idea to try and go for that one. It's better to hit it at periapsis, so we'll boost up at apoapsis. But our inclination is great. Okay, we have our Rendezvous within two kilometers of the target, and as we get closer, we're going to have to be careful not to time warp. I think I was too late. Uh... Uh No Why? 
by. That was pretty decisive, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so our question is Is there a way to. Is it. Can we approach it at all? <laughs> um, is it gonna disintegrate no matter what? So we're prior to a minor maneuver here uh, to get the rendezvous, and I'm just gonna save it first. Those are our missions. Let's just get rid of anything else. That, whatever it is. Those are the engine pods that are coming back, but I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't want to deal with them. I want to see how big the save is when I've gotten rid of those. It's taking a while. And the size has basically doubled. It was 288 megabytes, now it's 570. Alright, but we'll take a look. Uh, so that's the station. Okay, it doesn't immediately explode. We'll try it one more time. But I think the save, we're gonna have to revert to a point where it wasn't such a big save. Um, so I have a Lave Station 33, that's how often I save by the way. Lave Station 33 save was 39 megabytes. Uh, but the ones after it have gotten really huge. This time I gotta start slowing down immediately. So last time we approached the station, it exploded. We're, we're trying to have that not happen this time, but I don't have a whole lot of hope because I have no idea why I exploded before and we haven't done anything to mitigate that. We are gonna be approaching slower. That might help. I don't know. We're going to have to be patient. I'm definitely not time warping at this point. It's possible that it was just bad having something going as fast as we were entering the physics range of the station. Okay, well, it looks like the way it ought to. Okay. So, we have to get these off one at a time. As dodgy as that might be. Okay, uh, impulse. Not that much impulse. <laughs> Interesting that you can tweak that after the fact. Um, okay. Let's just control from the docking port. Of course, we'll still have the decoupler leftovers though. Ah, daylight. No, oh, oh, it's already connected. Oh, it, when I connected, it caused the whole station to wobble a bit, but it's connected. Okay, well, that's one. Is the station moving? Uh, well, not at that angle. Um, okay, we're gonna have to stabilize the station. It's clearly just rotating too much. Hey, you. <laughs> Stop. Oh, alright. Okay, SAS on. Stop. Stop rotating. Stop rotating. Okay, number three. Well, doesn't seem like any of the ports are directly in view. Well, that looks fine to me for now. Oh, we're a little bit tilted. But probably it's gonna be alright. 
probably. Oh, it might not be. Oh, well, it's still accepted it. Like, you know, I'm still trying to feel out exactly what it will tolerate. Um, it tolerates quite a lot. Uh, just for reference, um, the tolerance distance for docking is at its lowest, 50%. And we reduced the docking acquire force to 10%. So it's as intolerant as the game can get as far as docking tolerance. <laughs> uh, and yet that docked, so... Oh, all right, I'll go faster. <laughs> this is taking too long. Come on, I'm right clicking that, uh, that docking port. Okay, coming into dock with the final arm. Okay, wow, it was much less tolerant than the previous times of that, but okay. But we have one more piece of business, but let me save. We need to get rid of the bus that carried the four modules here. So, this guy... Effectively missiling Leith for no reason, but Can I still switch? No, I can't still switch to a combined 16. Fine. Alright. So there we have it folks. Uh PlayStation as it is, but I don't know if we can expand it or not because of the file size problem. We might even have to revert this whole addition of the arms because of that. I mean, the file size for the saves is now 500 megabytes. No apparent issues yet, but it's probably a bad thing. So, yeah. I don't know about the future of the station, but for now, this is what it looks like. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.